I still like this twirly thing. I still like this twirly thing. <laughs> hey, have you ever gone to take a group shot? The background is perfect. Everything is perfect. People are beautiful. They all look great. You go download the images to your computer. You look at them really closely, and one person has their eyes closed. And you're like, oh, please let there be an image that doesn't have that. So you go to the next one, and that person has their eyes open, but the person next to them has their eyes closed. Then the image after that is out of focus, and the one after that doesn't have anybody looking good. And you're like, oh, I blew it. I don't know how to do this. Well, guess what? In this video, I'm going to show you how to take closed eyes, and I'm going to open those eyes for you, and we're going to do it right now. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Sean Seymour and I run a studio in Sacramento, California. I do lots of group photos and in those group photos, it never fails that there's somebody with their eyes closed. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how to go into Photoshop and correct the closed eyes. There's a couple of things that you need to consider. One is I'm going to assume that you have Lightroom and Photoshop, which if you don't, Adobe has that as a subscription model that is very inexpensive. I think it's like $10 a month. So let's make sure that you get that. The other thing is I'm going to assume that you've taken multiple images roughly of the same group. So you have several images that are about the same, but as we already know, some people are blinking, some people are often doing their thing, and other people are talking or whatever. I'm gonna show you how to fix that, and we're gonna go ahead and get started on that here in just a minute. But if you like the content that I'm putting out there, please go ahead and like this video. That will tell YouTube that they should show this video to other people. If you'd like to subscribe, you can subscribe. That'll keep you up to date on the content that I have coming out. And if you hit the bell notification, I think almost everybody knows at this point that that'll give you a notification when I release new videos. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the computer and get started. Okay, so here I am in Lightroom. I shot a group of seniors here, and in several of these images, go ahead and expand it here, you can see that everybody in this image looks really good, with the exception of this young lady right in the middle here. Her eyes are exactly closed. <laughs> which makes it no bueno. If I run over to the next image, I can see that her eyes are open in this image, but this is not the most flattering shot for some of the other people. So backing up here, I like how these people look with the exception of what's going on for her. So let's go ahead and we're gonna send this image over to Photoshop. You can either use Command E or you can use um, the menus here under Photo, Edit in Photoshop. Then we're gonna go back to Lightroom. We're gonna grab the image that we really, uh, we like the image of her, but we don't necessarily like the image of the other people. And we're gonna do the same thing. Go to Photo, Edit in Photoshop. Okay, so now I have both of these open. I have one up here. I have the other one in another tab. And you can see that in this one, her eyes are open. In this one, her eyes are not. So that's the one that I like. I'm gonna go ahead and take the one that I like and I'm gonna drag it up here to the tab, hold down the shift button and drop it in place. So I have the one that I like on top with everybody smiling except her eyes being closed. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Whoop. Let's go ahead and zoom this in a little bit so you can see. I have that over the top of the layer where she has got her eyes open, but everyone else is not looking as flattering. You notice if I click on and off the eye, these images are slightly out of alignment. So in order to fix that, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight both of those layers, come up here to edit, and I'll go down to auto align layers. What this is gonna do is it's gonna look at the top layer and the bottom layer, and it's going to try and align them uh, from what the Photoshop gurus see in the images. I usually will leave it on auto, so go ahead and leave it on auto if, unless you wanna play around with the others, and hit okay. Photoshop runs the wheels of magic in the background. There's a bunch of mice on a, on a wheel going yip, yip, yip. So now what I have is still my two layers, but now when I turn this layer off, you'll notice that I'm much more aligned Whoops, didn't mean to turn them all off. I'm much more aligned than I was before. So the next thing to do is going to be to create a mask so that I can go ahead and bring the smile in the lower layer. That's what I wanna do is I wanna raise the smile up or allow the smile to be seen through 
this top layer. So I do that by creating a mask. I'm going to make sure that I'm switched over to black. You can press X on your keyboard. I'm gonna set my brush. And by the way, here's a cool little uh, feature that you may or may not know of. You can hold down Control and Option and you can change your brush size and you can change your brush hardness just by holding down your mouse and moving up or down. I didn't know this until a little while ago when I saw a Photoshop guru doing this. If that doesn't work for you, you can always come up to your brush menu, turn your size down, Definitely turn your hardness down. You don't want this to be a hard edge right here. Okay, so make sure that I'm selected on my mask. Come over here and literally, if I just hit one little dot of black paint, it's gonna change her face, right? Now I'm gonna zoom into this because I'm gonna have to fix the layers a little bit. And let's go ahead and make sure I got everything on her face perfect. Okay, and then the other thing that I'm seeing here is that my layers are not totally lined up. You can see that in her hair right here. So what I'm going to do is click on that layer, change to the move tool, and I'm going to move this layer just enough so that she's matching up. And actually, I think I wanna go make her a little taller. And it's really easy to do this if I go ahead and I open up one of her shoulders. And you see that? So I had her all hunched in, or actually I should say the Photoshop gurus had her all hunched into her shoulders when in fact she wasn't. So you just wanna be careful with the alignment tool. Sometimes it hits it, sometimes it doesn't. I like her hair in the photo before this too, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And there you go. You honestly can't tell the difference between this photograph and, sorry I keep doing that, and this photograph, except that her eyes are open now. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and Click save, and I use command S, or you can go ahead and use the menu. And you'll notice down here at the bottom, we get a blue menu, or I'm sorry, a blue bar showing the save is done. Hey, so I hope you got something out of this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave those in the comment section down below. As always, Look at some of my other videos because I do a lot of videos on photography tutorials and until we see each other on the next video, please keep it simple, my friend. <laughs> oh my God, I'm dying. I'm being attacked by the fuzzy, fuzzy dead cat. <laughs> I don't know what that is in your screen, sir, but it sure looks like you have some kind of a microphone falling out of the ceiling. Ah, oh, seriously. Appreciate your sound, need to bring the patient.